Uh, I've just been like sitting around watching documentaries and shit. Watching documentaries and watching things on Vice. You know? People who watch Vice think they're better than everyone. A hundred percent. People who watch Vice laugh like this a lot when you say something not tr- like that they think is not true. They go like this. They laugh like this. <laughs> okay. And then they fucking underhandedly slam the shit out of you. And nobody even gets that they're slamming you except for other people who watch Vice. <laughs> okay, yeah. If that's how you think, sure. But what about feelings? That's what they do. People who watch Vice always go like this. <laughs> sure, okay, yeah, I, I understand. But what about feelings? <laughs> what about girls with short hair and their feelings? Um, so, yeah. Vice is, you know, always trying to expose shit. Sometimes they, don't, they expose shit that doesn't even need to be exposed. They're like, lemons. What the fuck? On Vice, lemons. And the guy's like, yeah, we talked to a lemon. Um, And I sat down with a lemon. The lemon's just on, on a fucking in front of a computer on a keyboard. Just to see what the daily life of, le- of a lemon actually is. A lemon just sitting there for fucking 12 seconds. And then a girl with fucking oversized glasses and a ponytail is like, so. And she's wearing a flannel to make her robe, makes her robe for her. So, Lemon, so how do you feel being just in a society? Cut to the Lemon just sitting there. Do you just ever feel pressure to be juice? Yeah, you know, I I feel like, I don't know, sometimes my relationships go sour. It's a bad joke. But that's what it is, dude. That's vice, bro. I sat down. Fucking. I sat down. They're always sitting down, dude. I sat down with somebody who loves painting just to see what their effects are on society. So, painter, yeah? Do you ever feel like you're in a society? That's what they're always asking. How do you feel like being in a society? Well, you know, in society, I just feel like, you know, painting has to be, you know, more accepted because if it's not, then we're in a society that's not accepting things and then it's like, what kind of society are we in? I sat down to fart with a chef. (laughs) <laughs> so here advice we sat down with a chef that's riddled with tattoos all over their arms because we decided what's a chef to do in a society so chef society so basically society here's what it is so girls with short hair society and we wanted to just basically see what it was like society and if we didn't then there's no way i could cook crab cakes society he farted then. I farted. My glasses got bigger. And I threw up everywhere and it was normal. Um. Anyway, dude. Fucking vice is always exposing shit. Doesn't need to be exposed, you know? But it's cool, I guess, you know? They One time they were like, there's a stand-up culture in a garage. <laughs> and they interviewed these guys doing stand up in a fucking garage. Hey, it's nothing. Hey, get out and park cars there. <laughs> the underground culture of stand ups not being accepted. Get in the club. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> They don't feel accepted, so they started stand up in a garage. Ha! <laughs> Dude! And everyone, there were like chairs set up in the garage where the car should be, and everyone laughs. Everyone fucking, everyone outside of comedy clubs that do stand up outside of comedy clubs, everyone laughs like this. Ha 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 ha! Like they're fucking Vince Vaughn on Ritalin. Dude, get out! Get in the car! I know so many people are gonna be upset, but like, whatever, dude! That shit is hilarious. That shit is fucking hilarious, dude. We caught up with this underground stand-up comedy brigade. They do stand-up in a forest. They have pointy ears because they're fucking gnomes, but they're accepted. And everyone laughs like, ha, 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 ha. 
I did. I did. Uh, what happened? I did uh, stand up in one of those fucking things once, and everyone was laughing at like that, and I was like, "Dude, you're not even really fucking laughing." Eh, whatever. You know? Hey, do honestly do it wherever the fuck. Look, here's the other thing too. Do it wherever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. I'm just making fun of it. You know? There's stand-up comedy shows in a fucking laundromat, you know? Do it. If you get a, people there and they want to pay, and if they feel good paying and they feel like they're supporting, then who gives a fuck? Dude, I don't want you to come to my show to support. I want you to come to my show because you want to laugh. That's what I want. People are like, yeah, you got to support live comedy. Dude, come to laugh. Support somebody with cancer. Come to my show to laugh. But whatever. Whatever makes you feel good. At the end of the day, whatever makes you feel good, dude. If you want to do a show for a bunch of fucking guys that sound like Vince Vaughn on fucking paid killers, then do it. Um, 